Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee Roden. If you have not already, please go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you're notified each and every time when I post a new video. So today's video is going to be a birthday look. It's going to be this beautiful birthday look right here. Yes, today is my special day. I am 20 fine. You're gonna have to guess which fine that is. If you'd like to see how I achieve this look, stay tuned and let's get right into this video. I am using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Chocolate and brushing the brows with their brush number 12. With the angled side of the brush, I'm making small hair strokes and I am intentionally staying away from the front of the brow so that we don't have angry brows. I'm following the natural curve down to the tail and brushing the brows out after to get rid of any harsh lines. I applied a dot above the brow and below the brow bone of the Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer in the color Pecan and I'm using this flat concealer brush to line the brows into proper shape. After I line the top of the brows, I am going to go over that with our foundation so that there isn't any halo, but this is a pretty neutral color concealer. I am then using my Got To Be Ultra Glue Styling Gel and brushing a small amount into the brows, gently without disrupting the color. Once the hairs are in place, I'm then simply lining the top with the brow comb. I'm applying Becky Sue Eyeshadow Primer, which you can just use concealer with the same flat concealer brush that we used to line the brow. It is a lot easier to blend in with a fluffy brush, I must say. And I did apply some to the lower lash line. I have my Urban Decay Smoky Naked Palette, and we are mixing the colors Dirty Sweet and Combust onto the above or above the crease with the fluffy brush. Then we're blending radar right into that crease. I'm applying the color Smolder with the medium angled shading brush and I'm holding the brush at a winged liner angle at the outer V and dabbing that color on the outer crease and the outer lid. I'm then bringing that same color to the inner lid and into the crease. I'm then using Radar to go ahead and blend out any harsh lines. So I have this beautiful emerald eye pigment and I have no idea where I got it from, but I'm using this concealer brush and tapping that color onto the middle of the eyelid and packing it on. I am not rubbing it in because it will lose the shimmer and shine and just create an ugly shade but I am also bringing it in to the color smolder that is next to it so that um, they can mix and blend well. This color is just too juicy. I have to show you on the other eyelid. And I am of course brushing and blending radar back into the crease and fixing any harsh lines. Mix together high and dirty sweet with a smudge brush and lining the brow bone. And blending that color out with no product. I'm just using the fluffy side of the brush that came with the palette. With the NYX pigment in Pig 13, I'm using the eyeliner brush to line the inner corner and I am applying it like liner to the mid lid. I am then bringing that color 
down to the lower lash line and covering, of course, the inner corner of the eye as well. And then our next color is the beautiful emerald pigment and we're covering the mid lower line. And we're putting that beautiful smolder color on the outer lash line. I'm using the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage Foundation in 4.25 and spraying my Sephora Multitasker Foundation Brush with the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Setting Spray and dabbing the foundation into my skin. Yeah. It's not necessary to bring the foundation too far under your eyes because we're going to conceal under the eyes. Don't forget your neck area as well as the forehead and the hairline. And we also need to get around the brows as well to make sure there are no harsh lines from when we concealed our brows. I'm applying that same Neutrogena concealer and we are concealing the areas as shown. I am using a really small blending brush that I did spray with setting spray and I'm dabbing the concealer into the skin until it honestly just melts away but under the eyes i'm the the you know higher you go the tighter your skin is going to look the more lift it's going to appear to have the cheekbones are going to look higher the eyes are going to look lifted so make sure you give a nice lift at the corner of the eyes and don't forget to blend these areas well I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit and applying that using the contour brush. I'm lifting up and to the ear at the cheekbone and taking that contour into the hairline and along the jawline as well. I then grab that mini sponge and contour along the nose as well. Yeah. As I was contouring, you'll see I got scared the daylights out of. My fiance ended up walking in the room. Um, he came home from work and I literally almost peed my pants. So I have the Smashbox Halo Refresh Perfecting Powder and with the powder brush I am applying it lightly all over the face so all of the beautiful browns that we have applied can melt together perfectly. But to set that cream contour even more and give it a nice pop. We are going in with the Ben Nye Banana Powder and I'm applying it using a small sponge and we're going over the same areas that we applied our Neutrogena Cream Contour to. A coat of mascara. And this is the Revlon Ultimate All-in-One Mascara. But the I Envy by Kiss Super Stronghold 3D Lash Adhesive in Black, I'm applying it across the lid as close to the lash line as possible. This can also be worn as a waterproof eyeliner. I go ahead and apply another coat of mascara and as well to the lower lash. 
have the Winifred Distinctive Eyelashes from Amazon, and I'm using a pointed tweezer, and I'm looking forward with a squint and dropping the lash on top of my real lashes, and pulling it into place. I definitely recommend cutting these because they will poke you in your eye. They are very long. And I mean the strip is long as well as the length of the lashes are long. So now I'm brushing away the Ben Nye powder with the powder brush. And remember lifting at the face, not making any circles, not dragging the powder down. We're lifting and brushing towards the hairline. And with the blush brush, I'm applying Honesty Beauty Blush in Plumberry to the cheeks with a smile on. This color has got to be my favorite. Now I'm using the NYX pigment and a fan brush to apply highlighter to the cheekbones ever so gently and also to the bridge of the nose and to the M of the lip. I should have added a lighter color on my nose and my lip, but it's okay. With the lip brush, I'm lining the lips with Kiss Ruby Kisses Matte Lipstick. And this is in Dark Plum Scene. I swear I've had this RK for so long and I love it so much. I've probably had it since 2016 and it's still one of my favorite lipsticks. One of my favorite colors to line the lips with. Probably one of the only colors that shows up on my really dark lips. After we get these lips lined, I am applying the Too Faced Melted Latex in the color I'm Bossy. It's my birthday, you gotta be bossy, baby. I am so in love with this lipstick. So I'm smacking the lips together instead of doing any rubbing. Rubbing just makes things get messy. You can skip this next step, but I am so, so obsessed with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Gloss in Capricorn. I'm dabbing a very small amount in the middle of the lip and I'm smacking them together. It makes the very smallest difference when you have this melted latex on, but when it's by itself, it is so juicy. Spraying Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Setting Spray all over the face. And baby, we are done, honey. We are done. This is the final look. Here are some photos of the finished look. I hope you enjoyed how we got here. Happy birthday, Virgos. So this completes this makeup tutorial, this birthday makeup tutorial. If you enjoyed how I got to this final complete look, please go ahead, give this video a like, drop a comment if you love this birthday look or what you think I could have done different to make it that much more better. And go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can see new content each and every time that I post a new video. All right, without further ado, I'm gonna let you guys go and say peace out for now and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.